everybody i'm cheryl han woodlock in this tutorial today my youtube i'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous little fella he is a pinch pot so stay tuned Today are a wedging wire to cut your clay with. You will also need a skewer. They are good for doing the eyes and lots of other things. You will need a knife that is to cut the clay. So I have an old steak knife here. It's a nice thin blade and the point is nice and tidy. So that works. I will also need a board to work on. I just used off cuts from my cement sheeting. That works really well for me. You will also need a texture sheet. I've made one out of hot glue gun and skewers. So that works really well. But this is the other one that I have. It's an old car mat. So I use that for my work. And you will also need some slops. It is a slip or slurry. It is wet down clay that is nice and gooey and yucky. So we need some of that to glue things together. You will also need a damp sponge. I like to have a damp sponge to get wipe my hands on. I also have a cloth here to dry them on. And you will also need some clay. I'm actually going to be using Clayworks School White Clay today. It's an earthenware clay. It's a pretty robust clay. If you have other clays, that is fine. I don't mind. Um, every country has its own type of clay. This is a local clay that I use. So I shall see you soon. They're the tools that we need for our, our tutorial for today. See you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm back. We're about to start. I've got my clay here. It's around about um, a kilo of clay, uh, just under a kilo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my wedging wire and just cut that. I only need a small ball. So that is all that I need for today. I'm just going to put that aside for the moment. So with that ball, what we're going to do is we're going to make that into a round shape. So I'm just gently tapping the ends so they are round. Because I'm not going to fold this in half. I'm just going to tap it so it becomes like a block, a round block of clay. So let's go. So that's roughly my round ball. You don't want it any bigger than when you do your thumb and your fingers. You want it to be able to sit easily in your hand. This is probably a little bit too big. I can actually take a little bit off. So I'm just going to take a little bit off. I'm going to retap. Okay, I've got a round ball. Now it fits better in my hand. It's not so large. All right, we're going to do a pinch pot. Say good day. Put your clay, thumb in the middle of your clay and press down. I keep it in my palm of my hand rather than getting a flat bottom. Now, I don't want to go all the way to the bottom, but when you have it in your hand, you can feel it going down. So let's go. I like to give it a bit of a twist. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a twist to even that up. Now let's have a look. That is quite deep in there. If you don't know how deep you're doing it, your finger there and then you can see how deep it is so I'm almost to the bottom I'm probably around about there which is a great thickness okay you've got that done excellent the next thing we're going to do is I call it the quacking duck we're going to be pinching the pot so basically what I'm going to be doing is I've got my hand around and I'm going to have my thumb down the bottom my fingers around the side and I'm gently going to squeeze and move my finger around at the bottom. I start at the bottom. Do you understand? All right, so remember your fingers and your thumb. Bring them over, gently squeeze. It's not a big squeeze. Don't squeeze big, gentle. Okay, so gentle squeeze going around in your hand, thumb down, Thumb in, 
fingers around, gently squeeze. And then go around. Around the bottom. Go around your full circle. You can see my little finger marks. They're hardly there at all. It's a very gentle, very gentle little squeeze. Making sure it's all even. Now, if you're not too good about doing this, you don't know if you're getting it right, close your eyes. And do it. Your fingers are very, very sensitive and they actually feel really good. They can sense where it's thick and where it's thin, where it's lumpy. They are the best tools that you have. So, as I said, if you're not too sure about whether you're pinching correctly, close your eyes, let your fingers feel for you. They are very, very sensitive. And remember, your thumb and your finger should be getting together. Don't start doing this and bend your thumb or bend your fingers. They have to be together. All right, so my hole is a little bit bigger now. I'm going to go up a little bit more so I'm going to do my next row. So I'm going to go, I started at the bottom there now. So that was where I started. Now I'm going to go up a little bit higher. So I'm going to put my fingers up higher, resting it, and again, pinch going around. Very gentle little pinches. So you can see, you can hardly see my finger marks at all. It's so gentle. So when we look inside, the hole is getting bigger, the pot is getting bigger. Okay, now I'm going to go up higher. I'm not going to go to the top. I'm actually going to start pinching there. Now the marker was really handy. I went around four times that time. So have a look at my pot on the inside, if you can see that. There you go. Right, it's quite deep inside now, it's quite round. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around it once more. And I'm not making the walls too thin. If they're too thin, they're going to break. So I'm just testing to see where it's thick, where it's thin. Closing my eyes, letting my fingers feel for me. Open. That is my pot. That is a really good pot. So that is going to be the start of my ship. Hi everybody. Thank you for watching. If you've liked what I have done today making this ship, could you please hit the like button, the subscribe button, tell your friends and we'll catch up with you later. I'm Cheryl Hanwoodlock and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.